So I received this interesting question from a certain student who requested so that I solve it. So the question is a taut cross line has a length L and a mass M. A transverse wave uh, or a transverse pose is produced by plucking one end of the cross line. If the pose makes N round trips along the cross line in T seconds, find the expression for part A. The speed of the pose in terms of N, L and T, but B, the tension F in the cross line in terms of the same variables and the mass. Okay, so one thing we have to understand is that um, let's say we have a cross line or just let's, let's say we have got a lop. Now I'm going to say this lop is attached here. So here is a lop. And then this lop is just in a straight line then you are trying to pluck it from here okay so if you pluck it a wave is going to be generated okay so we don't know how many rounds is going to make and we've been told that the number of rounds is given by n so the distance is going to move from this part here okay let me just call this part a and that part b so the distance is going to move from point a to b okay to b then again from point B back to A. So you discover that the distance is going to be given by 2L. Okay? We're going to have two lengths. The time, the distance is going to cover from point A going to point B. Then again from B all the way back to A. Meaning we have to double the distance. So it's going to be 2L. So initially this L, whenever you are dealing with such kind of questions, L you always have to double it. So we want to find the speed. The speed is given by, so we we'll say the speed, which is the velocity, is given by the distance over time. Okay? The distance, so in this case, so I'll say, I'll just say the distance over time. But the distance which we're talking about here is the length. So it's 2L over T. But we also have the number of rounds. We don't know how many rounds it's going to take. It can even take 10 rounds. So I have to multiply it by the length. So it has to be the speed will be given by 2n times L divided by T. So the time, the time it takes to complete um, the number of rounds, which we don't know, is the T we are talking about right now. N is the number of rounds. Sometimes they are going to give you, so say, it takes about maybe two rounds. Then N is equal to two. Okay? So in this case, this is the formula which you have to use when finding the speed. Now, the second question is, we need to find the tension. So, to find the tension, initially we know that we are talking about the this speed is the velocity. And the velocity, when we are talking about the string, is given by the square root of the force, which is the tension force, divided by the linear density. So, the linear density is given by the mass divided by L. Okay, so in this case, we don't have the linear density. I'm going to replace the linear density with M over L. So I'll come here. That's why the question is saying, find the tension F in the cross line in terms of the same variables. So I'll say the velocity will be given by uh, the square root of the tension force divided by the linear density. Then the velocity, we have to replace it with the formula which we have just come up with here. Okay, So the velocity will be given by 2n times L divided by t is equal to the square root of, so I'm going to have the tension force, divided by the linear density is the mass divided by the length. Then I'll continue here and say, this can be the same as I have got F divided by M over L. So this is the same as F times L over M. So it is the F L divided by M. So it's going to be F times L, which is the tension force, divided by M, like that. So we can now square both sides to get rid of the square root. Let's see. So if I square this side, I also square here. Then this square root and these two, they will go. So I'll have now, if 2 squared, I'll have 2 squared n to the power 2 
L squared divided by T squared to be equal to this will be the tension force times L divided by M like that now 2 squared is 4 N squared will be just N so 2 squared is 4 N squared is just T like that then L squared divided by T squared will be equal to the tension force times L divided by M our goal is to make the tension force as a subject of formula let's cross multiply so we have the tension force times L times T squared will be equal to 4N squared times L squared times M let's divide both sides by L times T squared L times T squared these two cancel so my tension force will be equal to then 1L and L can go I'll remain with just 1L so the tension force will be given by uh, 1L times M divided by T squared so this is my formula for the tension force using the variables which have been given so that is it for this question